Hey everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to share with you everything that I haven't listed. All of the stuff that's in my death pile, my money pile, whatever you want to call it. So stick around. I asked on Instagram who would be interested in seeing the things that we have that have accumulated and that we've stored up. Now, it's not an accident that we do that. Melody and I have long believed that having backstock, which is what we call it, it's not really a death pile, it's backstock makes our business run more efficient. And so I, what I wanted to do is to share with you some of the things that are sitting here. I can't share it all with you. I will run some short clips right now that show you some of our storage. Okay, if you enjoyed that, uh, I'm going to walk you around. I brought some of it in this room to show you what we've got. And I, I do. I think you're going to find it pretty interesting, some of the things that we have. And so, without, without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is kind of show you around the room at some of the stuff that is sitting here. Now, like I've told you before, that stuff there is already listed. But I've got a box of things here that are not listed. I haven't listed the um, carousel horses yet. And the clothes that are there are not listed. We've got some Santa stuff that isn't listed. Some super creepy Santa stuff that isn't listed. I've got a bunch of dolls that aren't listed. I have some food products that aren't listed. I brought up a random tub of clothes. I think it's clothes that I have not opened in probably a year. And... I've got a few things over there. So I think we'll start with Santa stuff. One of the first things that you'll see is this uh, Santa blow mold, about 16 inches tall. Uh, he works, he lights up, and uh, I've got a whole collection of Santa stuff that I haven't listed yet. Um, but we'll get it listed. I haven't been too concerned about it. This is super cool. It is a cloth mask, probably 1930s, and I'll pop a picture, let me move him out of the way, and I'll pop a picture up right here of what it looks like on. Uh, handmade a very, very long time ago. Uh, 
and I will get him listed, but again, um, I just haven't yet. And that's it for Santa. Let's move to some of the clothes. I have no idea what's in here. I may not even have been the one that packed it. It could have very easily been Melody that put it in here. Um, obviously, we got some Ralph Lauren. It's a sweater. There's a cardigan hiding away. Not too exciting there. Ralph Lauren shirt. That is a World Marketplace a duster. And here we have a rough hewn vest. I don't think this stuff on the top is very old. I think we got this in that hall that where he picked up the entire closet. Oh, this is an old Lacoste sweater. That's pretty cool. And this looks like, probably go softly if I had to guess, a house dress. And I'm going to set the other camera down. Well, now nah, this will work. This is just a little top St. John. I don't know what that is. That is an old Mexican skirt. The tag is pretty worn. I think I remember why we didn't list that one was because it didn't fit on our mannequin. It's a little small. Okay. This is a little jacket and I think the brand, brand is uh, Meow Wolf. I have no clue if that's worth having or listing at all. I just thought it looked cool when I found it. Uh, this, I know exactly what this is. These do really, really well for me. This is a vintage Wrangler. Uh, being Bangladesh, these pearl snap shirts, uh, this will be 90s. And um, I normally get $35, $40 for those. Boy, that's pretty rough. I think it's a snowsuit. There's the other half of it. That's by a head. That's probably 1980s. Oh, just... I don't know if that shows up or not. I think that's just Chico's. So slimming by Chico's pick those up because they're new and I literally have no idea what anybody else's death pile looks like so um, I don't know y'all let me know whether or not I should have picked up any of this this I don't normally pick up this brand it's probably why we never listed it Adriana Papel it was expensive back in the day Come on, focus. I think you can do it. Krups. This is a... It's an umbrella. So, I don't know if that's exciting or not. I think just a plain skirt. Oh, no, it's a pair of pants. They're the uh, Santana Knit by St. John. And... What is that? 
another pair of pants, probably the same thing. St. John. The black pants probably wait. I pick up all of these socks when I'm at the bins. They cost almost nothing. And I like them. <laughs> we don't really sell them though. And this is Adolfo, New York. And I think that the problem with this one is this right here. There is some underarm stains that I cannot get out. So that one we may not do anything with. I grab things like this. It's a sleep mask by Denver Mattress. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. Oh, I know what these are. Uh, last year, we... Let me see if I can do it like that. Last year, we picked up uh, a lot of stuff at an Air Force pilot's house. And these are the letters that his wife wrote to him between 1968 and 1970. And the family threw them out. And um, the guy, you know, won the Silver Star and retired a general. So... I hung onto the letters even though I don't know that they have any value. So let's move on to a few of the dolls and let me show you some of those things. If you watched our, our recent videos, I have dozens and dozens of dolls. These, and you know, check these out, This look at the faces on these things. These are made by Creacion, Creacioni Lowen. And they're hand-painted Mexican dolls. Those should go in the $50 a piece range. And at part of that doll um, sale that I picked up all these on, I, I got two of these carousel horses. Make great decorating. This one is a wonder horse. And uh, I will probably try Facebook Marketplace with the two horses. I haven't sold those kind of things before. This one is actually... Probably, gosh, five and almost six feet tall. And it's truly, truly pretty. She had a very, very nice base made for it. Um, this box of dolls, move out of the light a little bit. This box of dolls here is from Russia. And I, um, if you look closely, they're either very, very carefully hand-painted or they will actually be embroidered. Um, the, this one is, this one, we don't know where that's from, but the painting on the face is just wild. We haven't listed this one yet. We're going to get his uh, uh, cape uh, dry cleaned because it's got some stains on it, and we're hoping that a dry cleaner can get them out, but I don't know because it's silk. So... Some of these dolls are marked. Some of them have brands in them, um, but not all of them. Like these, these are Alexander, Alexandra from Moscow. And these dolls here should go close to $100 a piece, somewhere in that range. And I got a box of these at that sale. Now, I, I didn't pay $100 for them. Oh, I sold something. Who wants to see? Let's see what I sold. That is a doll that we just listed yesterday. 70 bucks. That's a great sale. I'll try and crop out the people's name. I accidentally showed it. Not all of the dolls in there were cloth. This one is a ceramic doll. And uh, 
clearly Russian and her too. All right, let me put those back and I'll be right back with you and we'll look at a few other clothes I've got. So these are, they're just jerseys that I picked up in uh, West at an estate sale. They're vintage. West are the Trojans, which I figure will be easy enough to sell. And it was a man's and a woman's. I've got the one and the 16. But just, I, I need to wash them first. I also have this suede cape. Uh, suede with brown leather fringe. Unmarked. This one had a flaw in it. Up near the top, there was a part where um, it had come undone and I repaired it and this is a, an Olympic jacket from Champion. This is in great shape for its age. Really great shape. Um, I picked that up at Sally's Boutique in Temple. Friend of mine, y'all need to go by and visit her. She's got great stuff. And this is a, an oil skin or oil cloth um, hunting jacket. And you can tell from that emblem on there that it's a uh, Winchester. And I am in the process of reproofing it. Um, reproofing just means that I am reapplying the wax that made it waterproof when it was originally done. It doesn't pay financially to do that, but I enjoy the process. So um, a lot of these old jackets, I'll redo that. And like I say, they don't, they don't bring much more by doing that, but somebody in, in gets a... A weatherproof jacket and I enjoy the process so all right one of the last things I'm going to share with you uh, I did get listed so this one is actually listed we listed it yesterday and um, if you haven't ever worked with folk art paper mache or picked any up check this out I'm, I'm expecting this and I've got it on an auction and it's not getting the attention I want but we'll see if it doesn't sell then we'll do something else with it I have the opening bid on this at $150. Based on when the family lived in Mexico City, I would guess this is 1960s. And it's got a few tiny little flea bites on it, but overall the condition of this thing is fantastic. And something like that, I'm hoping, will go for a lot. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. I mean, it's cool, but I don't know how much it'll bring, so we'll see. I, I started the auction at 150. It's got a couple of watchers, but that doesn't mean that they're buyers. So, so uh, I don't know how good the video is going to turn out because I, I'm not used to moving around while I'm trying to show you what I've got. But we have a lot of stuff, and um, I probably have enough. If I didn't source anything for three or four months, I probably have enough to list every single day, which is not what we're going to do. And I'll do another video explaining exactly why we do that. Uh, there's a reason for it other than just we just like to source. Um, but there's some specific reasons why we do that and we think it's beneficial for the way we run our business. So I hope you enjoyed looking at our back stock. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's eclectic at best. I mean, we really truly do pick up whatever we like to see, whatever we like to find. And... We'll be getting more. So if you liked it, subscribe for me, share the video, and leave a comment. Was any of it interesting to you? Of all the things that I showed you, whether it was the dolls or the clothes or the old letters, or uh, what would you find the most interesting? What would you pick up? What would you have passed on? And uh, that's it. I appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for being here, and I'll see you on the next one.